Hello and welcome. Today we're going to look at chord changes. We're looking at four chords and we're going to be playing in C major. What I want to do first is, this is like a warm up for the ear. We're playing each of the chords, just the triad. So the one, three and five of the chord like this. So that's our first chord is C major. Just do that with me so you have that in your head. Okay, our second chord in this series is the five chord, which is going up five notes, C, D, E, F, G. Five notes in the scale, that's the five chord. Okay, and that is G major. So we're going to do G major, just the triad of that G major. Okay, so C major to G major. Let's do that again. It's just starting on the bottom string, the three notes on each. C. to the sixth chord of that series. So we have C is one, G is five, and the next note up is six, and that is A to C to the E. So that makes an A minor chord, okay? Let's do that. Back to the G, we're going to go G, a, G, A. A minor. So we have one, five, six minor, a minor chord, that's A minor. And now we're going to the four chord of C, which is C, D, E, F. So our root note is F, and the three notes are F, A, C. Let's do that one. go do the A minor chord and then to the F. So the six to the four. Okay, so now we're going to do all four. So we're going C is our one chord, to G is our five chord, to A is our six chord, A minor, and F is our four chord. Okay, so let's try them all together, just like that. Three, four. See. 
chords are on the cello rather than just splitting up the notes. And the chords on the cello, well, the first chord, the C major, one, three, five of that chord. There's the C, and then so we can play them together. We use the G, so the five there, not the three here, but the five, and we'll put the three up here. So a major chord on two open strings. There's your C major chord, okay? So you can go... Okay, for now we're just going to break them up like that. So it could be... The various things but we first of all just want to get the sound in our ears so it's or separate modes. Okay. now we're going on to G major which is the same thing exactly it's up a fifth it's the five and instead of going we're using the G D and we're putting that B up the top. So we've got the C chord. And now we come to the A minor and the A minor starts on the A. And we've got the A, C, E in the chord. But we're not putting the C there. So you notice a pattern on the cello. Chords are fifth at the bottom and the third up the top. And in this case, it's a C. So it's the second finger. It's a minor third. Okay, so minor third looks like that. One, one, two. So your finger is flat across three strings and just the two on the top. Okay. Okay, so that is A minor. So we've got G, C. Go to the G. Go to the A. It's awkward and sort of weak. Well, you could do F, A, C, F, A. You could do... But what I want to do first, that's another inversion, is the F with the first finger. So the F is in the bass, okay? So that is one first finger across from the F and the C. And it hangs right across everything and the third finger on the D string on the A. So that shape, one, one, three. That is a major chord. Always major, always minor, wherever they go. Minor, 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 major, 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 okay? And then the open strings, always open, open one, open, open one those two chords. So now we're going to do them all. So we'll do just, let's do separate notes first. C to the G to the A minor to the F. Okay, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Smoother bow now. 
so you can slide up to that F from the A minor. Use your ear, you'll hear it because it keeps coming back as a cycle. You can also put as many double stops in there as you want, as you heard me doing. So when you play your C, keep it when you play your G, and then keep your G when you play your E. Just so you get that really rich sound. And you can play around with all sorts of things and different rhythms and even do improvisations over that. If you've got a looping pedal, you can loop yourself with different patterns. And now, here we go. One, two, three, four. with me and I hope you enjoyed that session. Okay, see you soon. Bye!